Hi everyone, little bit different video. How to build a profitable violin studio you love. So this one is for the teachers. And I don't know why I haven't made this video earlier. Because I have been running an offline violin studio for over 15 years. That in the end had four teachers and really thrived. All happy students, happy teachers, uh, happy me, except that I'm an extreme introvert and uh, decided to give my studio away to music school to um, teach online fully so I could stay at home with my kids and have an empty schedule. Um, but I just want to share with you because uh, I had some uh, friends in the in the year over the years, music teacher friends, who... Um, yeah, had no idea how to find students. And then I just gave them some quick tips and uh, they could make a comfortable living of their music. And yeah, I just want music professionals to uh, earn a good living with their profession and spread the love and joy of music. And, you know, put in the world this good and beautiful thing that music is. So... Uh, and make it more accessible for people. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips. And in the end of the video, I'm also going to talk about a course I just made about building a profitable violin studio that you love. Um, so you might not know that I'm always half business marketing, half uh, violin <laughs> music. And uh, so I didn't only graduate as a violinist and teacher, but I also hold a Master of Science from Nairobi Business University in the Netherlands. And I even was awarded Entrepreneur of the Year by the Dutch Chamber of Commerce uh, with my violin studio and uh, shop. So uh, I have no idea why I waited so long to share some things about that with you <laughs> and maybe uh, you are not a teacher and you're not looking for this information. And I have hundreds and hundreds of videos for you to check out. Now, what's really important is that you are convinced why you do what you do. Music is good and beautiful. And it's so important that people engage in music making, music listening. That people learn this lovely instrument, what a violin is. And just get them off Netflix, get them off gaming and get them with a violin under their chin. It's important. You do a good thing and you're not taking away from anyone. You just make the music cake larger and that's better for the world. And you have to eat. You uh, deserve fulfillment and freedom in your work. You deserve to be paid if you're a professional for what you do. And you uh, deserve to have... Uh, a happy life without financial stress. So, um, first of all, it's important to have an idea about what your ideal studio is and your ideal student, because if you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. So do you want to be that high-end studio that makes students ready for the conservatory? Or do you want to be that fun teacher uh, that does group lessons for toddlers so fun and well and lets them explore all kinds of instruments that can be very different. That's a different kind of website, a different kind of communicating. And uh, so do you want to teach beginners, intermediate students? You don't have to make a choice, but it um, people need to recognize themselves if you present yourself like, okay, wow, that's the teacher for me. Don't be afraid to make a choice in that. Don't be afraid to choose for an ideal student and, and speak through that. Also, don't be afraid of competition. Don't be jealous. Uh, don't see other music teachers as enemies. Join forces for the good. <laughs> Organize concerts together. Refer students to each other. Work together. Um, and make the music cake bigger together. If you attract a new student, you're not taking away from other teachers. No, you're growing the music cake. You are um, growing the number of people who engage in music. So if you want to be a fierce competitor <laughs> or an enemy, be an enemy to Netflix, <laughs> not to other teachers. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> Netflix is not going to be happy with this video. Uh, so yeah, your real competitor is just all the distractions of the internet and of this world. And um, so the promotion, what's most important is that not that you are shoving everyone and no one all the stuff about your studio in their face. It's important that if someone's looking for 
uh, lessons in your area that they find you. And therefore, it's important to be registered at Google Maps and that kind of stuff, Google Business. And also that you have a simple but effective website. And the two mistakes that I see music teachers make all the time is first that their website is about them, while your website should be about your student and how you can serve that particular student. And uh, so, for example, if I'm a parent of an ambitious 12-year-old and they want to go to a higher level teacher than they have in the local music school, perhaps. Not that there are no higher level teachers in music schools, but you know what I mean, that they just want a teacher who knows all the people in the commissions, knows all the um, how the additions work and can make them ready for that. Or if you want to be a more teacher that doesn't mind if a student doesn't practice and just wants lessons to be fun and that everybody enjoys the music, that that is different. That speaks to someone else and also different age groups. Do you want to teach adult beginners? Do you want to teach more intermediate kids, for example? That That is uh, really important. So in your website, speak to the student, speak to the student why, for whom you are the ideal teacher. Of course, you can say where you studied. Of course, you can say what fancy masterclasses. But most important thing is that uh, you keep your student in mind, that particular student, and think, okay, what would they want to read? What they, are they looking for? And make it crystal clear, because in so many studio websites, I see that it's not clear that they even offer lessons. So on your homepage, violin lessons in that town. Not, this is about how fantastic violin at Slata is. That's not relevant for anyone. <laughs> I would even hate reading that. <laughs> um And then put a clear call to action underneath each page. Put down a clear uh, contact page that it's absolutely clear. Like this is where you teach and this is what you teach. Um, I see, I've seen so many studio websites that look very beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of interesting info. But I can't just find where they are located where they teach, and then you have to search for that. And sometimes I do that just for just enjoyment, <laughs> that I just go looking like, how can I find where this studio is? And then in the end, you can find it. But then, you know, normal people don't spend that much time on the on the website. So um, that is uh, that is what really important. It's important to have clear studio policies so you can focus on the teaching and uh, that you can protect your own energy and time a little bit, uh, that you have clarity for your students, so you don't need to quarrel about kind of what the rules are or uh, how they need to cancel or that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's really important in uh, in an offline studio is just to have all the policies clear so you don't have to talk about that and then you can just focus on uh, the music. So... Speak to your student and take care that you are found by the student. Now, if you want more nitty gritty details about all of this, so about uh, really how you speak to that ideal student, how you decide on that and how you protect that you are not repelling students, for example, or maybe you should repel certain students. And how you make those promotional materials, how you build your brand and in a way that it doesn't cost you much time because Of course, if you're going to look up stuff about marketing, then then you might go, yeah, yuck. And <laughs> so I made a course, build a profitable violin studio you love. Link is in the description if you'd like to join. And there I share everything I know as a Dutch entrepreneur of the year and um, uh, from running a successful offline violin studio for over 15 years. So, um, yeah. That's it. So if that would serve you, then I would love to welcome you to that course. And if this already was helpful and you can already tweak some things and get more students to benefit from your lessons, then that's okay too. Thanks for watching. Bye.